I say I woke up too early today. <laughs> it's like super dark outside. But yeah, let's uh let's start making games. Before anything else, I'm going to make my coffee. So, a couple of days ago, I made my own Discord server, named after my apartment. The server is an additional space where I can communicate with all of you. So, there's the announcement channel, the welcome room, to give an introduction of the server itself. And the living room, where people can just talk about random stuff. Like, for example, Diary Games brought out awesome drinks, and I was really really surprised to find my small round table <laughs> and paper cup here anyway you can also check out my bedroom where i use it kind of like my daily blog and the kitchen is a place to share about food stuff and people have been daring me to eat a lot of stuff here lastly there's the basement channel where we can talk about topics related to games and game development. I spent some time checking out what people have been saying in Discord, then I went to work on my game. I have a list of tasks to do this week, and the first thing that I worked on was spawning players at different locations. Previously, players spawned at the same position, so there was a lot of unexpected bumpings. Now, if you look at the two different screens here, players are spawned at different locations. So, one spawns here. And the other one spawns all the way over there. Great, this seemed like a really simple task, but networking multiple clients with random spawn position was a bit difficult and I think I spent majority of the morning working on this task. And I woke up too early today, so I decided to drink another cup of coffee with this biscuit looking cookie thingy for breakfast. So since my game is a hide and seek game where one player can hide from another by acting like an AI, I set up the role of it and not it. The player on the left is assigned the not it role, and as a result, the player can see and collect the hearts. Once you collect all of the hearts, you win the game as not it. The player on the right who is assigned the it role cannot see the hearts. However, the player can run really really fast by pressing space to find the player who is secretly hiding amongst the AIs and collecting the hearts. Whoa, what is happening? Anyway, I place the hearts into random positions and after working on a few more tasks and fixing bugs, I built a game for another playtest. But before anything else, I was starving, so I went out to grab my lunch. So in my Discord channel, people were suggesting me to eat pineapple pizza. I don't know why, but because of that, I did get a pineapple pizza. So I added pineapples here. <laughs> but I know there are a lot of people who uh, debate that combination. But we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna add these Parmesan cheese. They do give you a garlic Dipping sauce, kind of like Papa John's. Maybe Papa John's looks better, but this is pretty good. It's it's really good. And they also gave me these pickles. And um, yeah, I don't really eat them with pizza, but I think a lot of other people do. They also gave me hot sauce, which is awesome. I'm only gonna spray on this. 
Amoebitas. So the game is playable. A lot of the features are, like the basic features are done. Uh, laptop here works, and I've been testing with two different laptops, but everything seems to work without problem. Yeah. Well, that's great. After testing the game myself, I invited my sister, who's living in the United States, to play test the game with me. Is your name A? Yeah. Oh, you collected one heart. There's four. Well, the heart collected me. What? The heart collected me. Okay. <laughs> No! Three! Oh. Is that you? <laughs> no! <laughs> You're just cheating because you made the game. Can you do one more quick one? <laughs> Oh, that's not you? <laughs> Someone was hiding behind the tree. Oh. That's you! Oh. Seems like you're not finding those hearts. What do you mean? I freaking found like three. <laughs> I think I saw you. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait, how did you know? What? Because, like, when you bump into um, people, yeah. all the AIs, they'll move into opposite direction. You left that part out in your instructions. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yes, just, uh, that's just what you learn from playing, I think. No. No? <laughs> I played three times and I didn't catch on to that, so you left that out deliberately. And therefore, you can be sued. I'm sued? Yes. This... Okay, I'm sorry. After this wonderful playtest with my sister, I concluded that the bare bone of my multiplayer game is working. As a result, I was pretty done with my work for the day, and I decided to take a break now by taking a walk outside. Is it coming at me? Oh no. <laughs> I think there's a lot of food there or something. Do you see that? Yo, that's crazy. Oh, do you see all those fishes? Holy crap, that's so scary. I think this one is trying to eat those. Whoa. Out of 
fish. I think it's like a chocolate inside. And I think this one has a, I think it was like a cream cheese. So I'm working to finish my game and make it playable for up to at least six players. But there seems to be a couple of blockers in the way. I'll see what I can do. And I think this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching as always and see you next time.